If you ever received a, a piece of sil what's supposed to be kind of like a silver bullet uh, relationship advice, you know, uh, compromise or take separate vacations, things like that. This is the kind of advice people like to give, whether it's in a romantic relationship with girlfriend, boyfriend, your spouse, or even just friendships, people will give advice like that. Um, it's, a, it's a give and take, that's the kind of thing we might say. Uh, but uh, is that actually true? Is that actually how it's supposed to look? It Maybe a question worth asking. Does that actually work? We've got a lot of this advice out there. Not a lot of people feel like uh, we as a people are actually all that good at relationships, so maybe it doesn't actually quite work that way. But that as a Christian, if that's what you would call yourself, or a follower of Jesus, a disciple of Jesus, um, should anything be different for you? Should it look any different than that, or does the same old give and take advice work for you? There's a, there's a quote, I don't know who said it, but it's something like, um, the, the, the heavy laden bow hangs the lowest. It is uh, the, the, the most humble Christian that bears the most fruit. So it's the heavy laden bow, think of a tree, a fruit tree, that's the one that hangs the lowest. It's the most humble. So the, the most humble Christian is the one who bears the most fruit. And, and that's, of course, kind of the bearing fruit imagery means success for us in our relationships and in our loving people and in our sacrificing for people the way Jesus has taught us to do it. Uh, somebody talks, uh, many people have talked about what it looks like to play the Jesus role in a relationship. And that's kind of what we're getting at here. Jesus humbled himself in coming to the earth. And so we're striving to be like him as he's told us to be. In the book of John, chapter 13, uh, he's just washed his disciples' feet. And uh, he plays the Jesus role there. And he says, uh, do you understand what I've done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you're right, for so I am. If then your Lord and teacher have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do just as I have done to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master. When we struggle to be that, the, the lowest hanging bough, the one that bears the most fruit, it's often because we can't conceive of ourselves as being so humble as to wash the feet, so to speak, metaphorically, metaphorically of the people that we're in relationships with. I can't do one more thing for you, we might think, or uh, not today, or just my, I need a little more give and take, or I need you to give for me a little bit more. These are the kind of things we do, and, and there might be some reasonable, there might be something reasonable to that. You might be tired, you, you might need help. But Jesus, in his role, plays this sacrificial, lowest bow sort of position, bearing the most fruit, and then inviting us to do the same. For he says, you're not greater than your master. And one way I think that we could take that, maybe the best to take it in this context, is that he's our master. And he kneeled down to wash feet. How much more uh, should and can we do that for the people that we're in relationships with? Now this is, has to all be wrapped up though in, in this important reality that Christ Jesus emptied himself for us, that he made himself humble for you, that he washed your feet and, and elevated you to a place of, of salvation in humility. And then as a person who knows that and who recognizes that, who can look to his baptism or her baptism and say, I'm his, we get to go and do that same thing for others. Not in a give and take, not taking separate vacations or whatever the other silver bullet relational idea is, but in just kneeling down and being the most humble to bear the most fruit. God's peace be with you today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful week uh, and peace.